What is Gopunim Festival? Lord Chaitanya's birth. <laughs> Who is Lord Chaitanya? Radha Krishna together. What's so special on this festival? What is what is so special on Lord Chaitanya? Oh, Lord Chaitanya, he's so merciful. He's a merciful. Uh, he's Namo Mahavadanya. Eh? So if Krishna, he comes to diminish the uh, <laughs> the discreets. But Lord Chaitanya, he forgave. And he's very merciful. He gives pure love of Krishna, Radha Krishna. That's it. Today is the appearance day of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. He was born 535 years ago, exactly at this place. Here under this neem tree, Lord Chaitanya was born and he is a very, very, very special personality in our tradition because he is the Yuga avatar and he came especially for us in this Yuga to show us a way, to give us a way, how we can reconnect to God, how we can reconnect to our spirituality. And this day is here in Mayapur, a very, very vibrant day. A lot of pilgrims come to visit not only his birthplace, but also many places where he was living, where he was staying. And also in our Iskon Mandir, a lot of visitors will be there today and celebrate the appearance of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Under this neem tree he was born and we will now circumambulate the neem tree, give our prayers that he will show his special, special mercy to us. You made your prayer? On the actual day of Guranga's birthday was a sun eclipse and a lot of people went to the Ganges and chanted the holy name half standing into the Ganges because the sun eclipse is um, inauspicious. 
So they went to the Ganzis and were chanting the holy name. And during his appearance were a lot of people in the Ganges and chanting the holy name and unknowingly welcoming Goranga with the holy name. is the most auspicious day in our life. The appearance day of Sri Gaurava Mahaprabhu Kai. And today, in the history of Iskan Mayapur, we are having here at this place, the Abhishek of the Pancha Tattva, first time. Haribol! <laughs> Yeah. 